Hey guys, Jalen Gilbo here, cornerback, and this is the Road to the Dome. Welcome to the All-American Bowl's Road to the Dome. I'm Coy Robinson. Each year, the All-American Bowl celebrates the absolute best in high school football. From Joe Thomas to Devontae Smith and Jalen Ramsey to Christian McCaffrey, the Alamo Dome in San Antonio is where America is first introduced to the football stars of tomorrow. Where are you going to play your college football? We're hitting the road to visit communities all across the nation to honor this year's athletes who have been named to the 2022 All-American Bowl. We'll take an inside look at these athletes as they try on their All-American jerseys for the first time and hear from some of them as they tell us just how it feels to join the elite list of athletes who've come before them. We'll also check in with 24-7 Sports as they provide some insight on these top athletes. Now, let's meet this week's All-Americans. Defensive back. Jalen Gilbo. Quarterback, Cade Klubnik. Defensive back, Travell Mullen. Defensive back, Miles Rouser. Running back, Nicholas Singleton. And long snapper, Eli Stein. This is Brandon Huffman, National Recruiting Editor for 24-7 Sports. And we'll take a look at the newest in bodies to the All-American Bowl in this week's Road to the Dome. A lengthy corner with good size, Port Arthur Memorial cornerback Jalen Gilbo will represent the Lone Star State. A two-sport standout, Gilbo also runs the 400 meters from Memorial, and the twitchy and instinctive quarterback has the explosiveness to project as a long-term cover corner. With a good backpedal, smooth hips, and a willingness to mix physicality with athleticism, Gilbo has quite the tool chest to make for a big-time cornerback. His length allows him to get his hands in and break up passes, and he's overly physical, separating the ball from the receiver often. Gilbo is staying in state and playing for TCU. One of the premier passers to come from Texas in the last few classes, everywhere the Austin Westlake quarterback Kay Klubnick has been, he's shined. His tight, compact delivery mixes his ability to throw on the run and in off-schedule situations allows for big yard with Klubnick to be a true weapon behind center. Racing good size and an optimal frame that can fit the ball in tight spaces with his arm strength, yet able to throw with touch is what sets him apart. Playing against some of the best competition in the country has allowed Klubnick the opportunity to stand out with his talent, and he'll take that talent to Clemson to play for Dabo Swinney. When looking for speed, Florida native Travell Mullen is on the short list among the fastest players in the country. The Coconut Creek product is a sub-11 sprinter while clocking a 4-4-2-40 this past summer. He's got good bloodlines, with one brother playing in the Big Ten and another brother playing in the NFL after playing at Clemson. But it's not just his speed. Mullen brings the physicality to his game despite his slender frame, and as he adds more strength and weight, he should be even more effective in college. He will join his brother Taiwan at Indiana. Belleville, Michigan defensive back Miles Rouser can play just about any spot in the secondary, but his highest ceiling might be reached playing as a safety. It's at safety where you can see his ability to take proper angles and end plays with his plus tackling ability and his willingness to come up in the box and provide run support. Rouser relishes contact and being a big hitter, but he can also show similar ability when in coverage and locking up his receiver. The six foot, 185 pounder will head to the SEC to play for Arkansas. A stout and powerfully built running back that comes from Pennsylvania is Nicholas Singleton. The six foot, 210 pounder out of Shillington Governor Mifflin, he already possesses college's ready size, but isn't just a power back because he's blessed with a lot of speed. A sub 1100 meter runner himself, he clocked a 10.89100 this past spring. He also flashes the strength with a 46 foot shot put. 
the speed, size, and durability suggests an ability to be a three down back at the next level. Singleton is staying in state and playing for James Franklin at Penn State. Cambridge, Wisconsin long snapper Eli Stein is one of the most athletic long snappers in this 2022 class. Long snapping coach Chris Rubio said that Stein's ability to use his body well and his outstanding balance contributed to his skill as a premier snapper. Stein is a smooth and fluid snapper with quickness in those snaps, and he is also an Eagle Scout. Stein is committed to play at Arkansas. Well, that's it for this week. For 24-7 Sports, I'm Brandon Huffman, and we'll see you next week on the road to the Dome. My name is Jalen Gilbo, and I'm a cornerback at Port Arthur Memorial High School, and today I will be putting on my All-American jersey. It is an honor to be playing in the All-American game. First off, I would like to thank God, my family, my friends, my coaches, and my trainer for helping me throughout this journey. See y'all January 8th. Go Frogs. Woo! Hey, how's it going? My name's Cade Klubnik, uh, quarterback from Austin Westlake. Excited to be a part of the All-American game. Yeah! So what this game means to me is everything. Um, just growing up, going to the game uh, with my dad and just dreaming of playing. And, and it's just always been such a dream of mine. I, I remember keeping the first ticket from uh, the very first time we went and just had it on my mirror ever since. And it's always just been such a goal of mine and just have, has pushed me with so much motivation. Be able to get the invite and um, to go play in January is, is something I've always dreamed of. People I'd like to thank all along the way is just all my all my teammates and all the people that have been here from the start. Um, I mean, they're my rock. And just, Everybody that's just helped me become the man I am today. Um, and then I like to thank my coaches, just the people that um, have just made me the player, but also the better person I am. And, um, and then finally, my, my parents and my family. Um, just I couldn't, I would not be where I am without them, and I'm just so thankful for it. I'm Travell Mullen, four star cornerback out of Coconut Creek High School. to thank God for being there with me throughout my whole career. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for being here with me. I'd like to thank my coaches, my teammates, my brothers, just for leading the way, paying the way, being a positive role, role model to my, my life. I'd like to thank everybody who just been with me throughout this whole process, my friends, my family. Y'all boy with me? Y'all boy with me? Yo. Creed check, Yo. Creed check. Yo. We love our house. Been here for years. Yeah, but there's an animal in the attic. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. We save a lot. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. What if I told you about a kid who saw possibilities? Dunking on 10-foot rims by age 15. High school player of the year, twice. Then went off to college, D1, top shelf. Number one draft pick, rookie of the year, and MVP in the same year. Won two golds. Won the MVP again. Won a ring. To some, the name is Candace. To others, it's Ace. The All-American Bulls Road to the Dome is brought to you by Geico. And visit San Antonio. I also want to thank the show for this 
legend of the All American game, and I can't wait to show up my five star talent. At this time, Eli, will you open your box and show your jersey to CHS? First, I'd like to say that this is an amazing opportunity, and um, I'm extremely grateful. But it feels great being the first person from this school to be able to do it, and um, to be able to represent this school at the uh, All-American Bowl competing against the best in the nation. Thank you, guys. Hey guys, this is Gus Ramos with the All-American Bowl, and this is our Gatorade Refueling Stop of the Week. Tonight, I am joined by Austin Westlake quarterback Cade Klubnik out of the state of Texas. Cade, how does it feel? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely probably one of the biggest honors I've ever received um, just as a football player. Um, just growing up, me and my dad went to the games. Um, just, I don't even know how many times. Just growing up, you know, it's in San Antonio, just a couple hours away. So, we went went up to games almost every year and just I love being that but I was just kind of thought it was just a, a dream of mine but um you know I, I kept the first ticket that um, I ever got and I have it on my mirror in my bathroom that I look at every single day and I have for the past probably four or five years and it's just it always just motivated me every day and to to be able to really put on this jersey and um to say that I'm going to play in the game it's just it means everything so one of the first times we spoke, you told me one of your original goals was to always be the quarterback of Austin Westlake High School. What is it for you now to be a senior and to know that you are the quarterback of a state championship program? Yeah, uh, definitely just, uh, you know, just an awesome, an awesome honor uh, just with the with the people that have come before me and uh, like Drew Brees and Nick Foles and Sam Ellinger, just to kind of be in the same role that they were. It's, it's just it's such an honor. And it's just it's just something I, I, I just try to never take for granted. So. You had a heck of an offseason. I feel like you won every sort of camp, MVP, or award. Is there anything specific that was your favorite memory that you've had so far? Um, I would say the Elite 11 just because of all the connections I got to build with, with all the amazing coaches that were there, and uh, but also just the competition. I got to, you know, just build so many great relationships with other quarterbacks that I'll be able to, you know, use down the line, whether it's training together or just um, looking look to each other for advice. I mean, I just – I built so many amazing relationships, and it was just an amazing time, and I – I also just felt like I, I took away so many so many good things that I've been able to kind of use throughout this year. So so we ask everybody once a week, what makes the football different in their state? You are from Texas. What makes the football in the state of Texas different than the rest of the country? Uh, I would say community. Um, you know, there, there's not a lot of transfer things, no recruiting, no anything. It's it's where you're born. It's where you're raised. And that's what that's the community you grow up in. And then. You know, we also don't, I don't know another state that's got 17,000 people coming to a game every week. So um, just the community and just the way that everybody surrounds themselves, it's just, you know, it's such a family in every school. And just from from second grade to whenever you graduate, it's just it's the same crew that you've been with since day one. It's just it's so special being able to play my senior year with the same guys I played pop corner football with. And um, just I'm just I'm just so pumped for it. After your days at Austin Westlake are over, you're going to head over to Clemson. What is it about the Tigers that made you want to join that program over there? Yeah, it's just the people. Um, the people are just – they're unlike anybody else. Just the, the way that they may just make you feel like family and um, just the culture that's there and the consistency of success throughout the program. And um, I'm just so excited to be able to get there and hopefully just help out the team in whatever, I, in whatever way. Well, Cade, once again, congratulations. I can't wait to meet you down in January. And best of luck the rest of your senior season. Appreciate it. Thank you. What's up, y'all, America? This is Juwan Johnson, former Oregon Duck and former Penn State Nittany Lion, now current New Orleans Saints Barber Series. Just wanted to holler at you guys to say congratulations, man, on a tremendous honor. I'm the class of 2015, so it's a little bit of ways away. 
Um, but I just wanted to um, say, guys, that just embrace every opportunity that you have. You know, this platform that you have right now, just take it, run with it, and make great decisions. Um, you have a tremendous honor and tremendous opportunity to do all you can to serve um, not only the high school football, but um, your, your teams in advance. So just show great respect to, you know, the people that surround. Uh, always be meek, humble, uh, all the time. So at the end of the day, you guys take care, stay blessed. And stay encouraged, y'all. Y'all take care. Once again, congratulations and welcome to each of our All-Americans. Be sure to follow us on the road to the Dome as we continue to meet this year's athletes every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Don't miss this year's All-American Dream Preview Special where we'll share the stories of some of this year's athletes both on and off the field airing Sunday, January 2nd on NBC. And of course, you can catch all these athletes in action at the 2022 All-American Bowl from San Antonio, Texas on Saturday, January 8th, live on NBC and Peacock. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.